Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to go camp. Let's go. No, I got I got a backpack with my stuff in it. <laughs> my backpack's also a chair, you know. So prepared there on the campsite. Uh, I got my stuff. Bubble wand number one, bubble wand number two. You know, I just figured I'd crash with someone when we get there. There's probably someone who has a tent, you know. No, I got food. <laughs> I have like 20 Pop-Tarts in this thing. Yeah, we're good, let's go, let's roll. Oh yeah, and when we're out there, catching a Bigfoot. Not getting away this time, you beautiful creature, you. Camping, yeah, I mean, I can be an outdoor girl. I love nature and animals and my friends and animals and I mean I don't like bugs so I try to stay away from bugs and closer to the vegan marshmallows and the fire pit where my friends are and have a great time and avoid the bugs. Sometimes I'll bring a bag of googly eyes, stick them in people's foreheads, activate the third eye, you know. I love googly eyes. Oh, camping? At a festival? I mean okay that is amazing. I mean, all of the lights, the lasers, visual artists, DJs dropping the bass 24 seven with a frequency that could literally throw my heart into <laughs> out of rhythm. I mean, it's amazing. And I want a luxurious tent. I think they call it glamping. Yeah, let's, let's do that. You ready to go? Let's go. I want the nice tent with an actual bed inside. There's nothing wrong with enjoying the finer things of life. Camping? Yeah. I mean, sure. It's, it's great. Uh, I mean, my friends love it. I, I think it's all right, but they love it. So we go every single year. Uh, last year I actually, I rented a bounce house for everyone. Yeah. 20 adults drinking hard seltzer in a bounce house. I mean, you could, everyone was dead sick after, but they loved it. They had a great time. And I mean, that's all that matters. Yeah. I'm, why would I have any interest in camping? Oh, oh, you don't think I could make it? Hi, yes, I would like to make the next available reservation at your campsite, please. I know how to make the better fire. I know how to make the better outdoor meal. I know how to pitch the best possible tent. Oh, you're just kidding. You, you know I make the best fires. <laughs> and I cook the, yeah, yeah, you know, you know. Hello, yes, um, I made a reservation and I would like to cancel. Uh, yes, uh, I had I'd never been camping before, so I was ill-prepared, but then I bought the book, the uh, essential gear guide for the outdoors, and then in return, I ended up purchasing all of the gear that they recommended, so I have lots of, lots of camping gear now. Um, strangely enough, though, the cooler in the gear guide book looks a lot similar to the cooler that we already use out on the back deck, but I figure there's something that must be more, more camping oriented about it. So, I mean, it's ready, better to be safe than sorry, right? So we got the cooler and all the other stuff. Uh, yeah, camping, I mean, listen, my tents for camping, they are all pop out, can be done with one person, because let's be real, I'm, I'm the only one who's gonna be setting up the tents. And they can also withstand winds up to 100 miles an hour. Yes, custom made. Uh, also, all of our gear that we bring camping uh, can all be packed down and also has wheels on the bottom. Yeah, there are wheels on the bottom of the cooler. There are wheels on the bottom of the tent bags. There are wheels on grandma. There are wheels on the jet skis. That's right, we bring some jet skis. And it can all be packed up within 15 minutes. I mean, efficiency is never lost when I'm involved. Yeah, there's there's a few basics, I guess you could say, that you need when you're camping. Uh, the first thing is, is zip ties. I, I don't think those need any explanation. The next one is paracord. You have maximum strength, minimal weight. And the next thing we have in here are some solar lights because we all know that the uh, batteries in your camping gear are uh, long past corroded. Um, two tarps, uh, multiple functionalities, obviously, the primary one being rain. And most importantly, the one that everyone forgets, rain boots. Yeah, rain doesn't ruin your camping trip, but people who fail to prepare determine their own destiny. I mean, one rip or tear that you can't fix, uh, rain gets in, boom, 
your sleeping bag is wet. Boom, your food is wet. Don't have rain boots, now your feet are wet. Rain is basically the STD of the camping world, but it doesn't need to be. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. If you wanna talk about fun things face to face, we can do so on my link to Snug down below. I will see you next time.